Hello everyone, I'm Chris. I'm one of the X-Plane developers and the purpose of today's video is to give you a very brief run through of uh, some of the features of support for virtual reality headsets with X-Plane 11. I'm here in my office slash family room and uh, a little limited on space so you can see these lines on the ground here represent the uh, the boundaries that I can walk in without bumping into my desk and other things. So if the lines appear it means I'm on the edge um, getting close to uh, hitting something and it's warning me. So I'll try to stand in the middle to keep the lines away, but like I said, the office is a little bit limited in space. Uh, I'm wearing the HTC Vive right now, and I have two of the uh, default Vive controllers, and you can see um, our own little object models of the controllers here in my view. I'm standing outside of our default Cessna 172, and i um, just going to do a very quick walk around just to show you the Vive uh, in particular offers um, 360 degrees. I can turn my head around anywhere. I can uh, trip over some wires here. I can get down underneath and we can just look around completely free um, to just look at anything we want on the aircraft. Almost like you're standing in front of the real thing. Even in the headset, the, the size and proportion of everything is, is extremely realistic. You feel like you're standing right in front of it. But we can't all have offices large enough to walk around an aircraft, so we have the ability to teleport, so I can uh, just touch one button on the controller here and you can see this uh, little arc comes out here and I can rotate it so I can uh, decide which way I'm facing. Um, so if I want to go to the end of the wing here, I can just do that. And now I'm outside the wing, get a little closer here. And we can uh, look underneath the wing and kind of do like a pre-flight ins inspection. And we can just very easily walk around and Look at various parts here. All right, so we'll head into the cockpit now. I'll just teleport over near the door here and uh, just grab the door handle. So you can see as I bring the controller over to the uh, the door handle and then just make a motion like that, the door opens. And uh, if I teleport right into the pilot seat here. Okay, so you can see I've grabbed a chair here just so I'm more comfortable. Um, and I'm sitting inside of the seat of the Cessna. It's no problem. I can just teleport again And now I'm sitting nicely in the pilot seat. Uh, I can choose to sit over here on the right side of the aircraft if I want and uh, You know fly as a CFI or as a passenger, but uh, let's come right back over here and I can reach over and grab the door and Close the door there so you can see we have an iPad or a little iPad mini here or the X pad as we call it and uh, I can pick that up with my hand and uh, I can move the map around and you know do our pre-flight planning on here but for now we're just gonna get started with the aircraft just do a quick takeoff just to show you um, how usable everything is these two uh, blue squares that are showing up here show mount points that I can put the iPad and I can stick it right there and now it's out of my hands and if I grab the yoke it stays with the yoke but let's just put it over here just so it's not such a distraction. So in the aircraft, um, essentially everything you could have ever interacted with before is, is interactive with the, uh, with the controllers. It doesn't have to just be the right controller, it can be the left controller or it can be both at the same time. So you can be you know, adjusting the, uh, the switches here and adjusting your throttle at the same time. Let's see, we can turn our master switch on, get our strobes going, our beacon. Check the area, put a little throttle. So with the left hand, I'll, let's bring this fuel pump on. Left hand, I'll, I'll grab the ignition, and the right hand, I'll grab the mixture, and we'll see if we get this started. So I'm just rotating my wrist here to turn the key, and then I'll start, and then I'll grab the mixture. There we go. All right, so that looks good. We'll bring our avionics on. We have our uh, GPS up and running, and uh, we'll just do a quick takeoff here. So I have access to pretty much everything. I can uh, adjust my trim here. We'll set the trim for takeoff. Fuel tank looks good. Uh, we can adjust the flaps here, but we'll do a flaps up departure. So with, uh, with this hand, I can grab the yoke. Just rotating my wrist here to turn the yoke, and then pitch up and down to uh, adjust the pitch here. Come down here and turn the parker brake off. Now we'll grab the throttle. Just make the 
forward and try to track higher one in there. go at any time and have both my hands back and the yoke will hold that same pitch and roll and look around back behind us and we can enjoy a nice sunset so I've turned the autopilot on here just so I can let the plane stay stable here and not have to worry about babysitting it. Well, I show you that uh, even the um, you know, the Garmin displays here, we can completely interact with them just as you would. You can go to direct and we can just rotate our wrist. And I, you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but the um, there's feedback in the controller, so it makes a little click just like the Garmin knob would each time you turn it. So if we're going to go direct. Uh, so one other quick thing I'll show you is I can just press the menu button on this controller and it brings us to uh, our hangar here and let me just teleport behind. I'm thinking I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. So I can come right up to our little whiteboard here, which we have our menu on. And this is the standard X-Plane menu, uh, the free flight menu. And I can pick the MD-80, for example. Uh, we, you know, we can adjust our weather and time of day and everything that you normally can. Autopilot. Just going to show the MD-80 really briefly because it's kind of an amazing aircraft, especially in... in uh, a VR headset, um, the entire overhead panel, every one of these buttons and knobs and switches you can completely interact with. Uh, even these little uh, guarded switches, like the uh, I think these are the starters here. The engines are already running, but that's the great thing about VR is you can fool around with this stuff. But you can interact with all of these things and close the switches when you're done. And I'll go and turn the wipers on. We'll go along the dash here, and you know, it's an amazing amount of uh, of things you can interact with. Even the, uh, I think it's this one down here, you can adjust your lighting. If you can see the flood lighting here on the window changing as I do that. Of course, the FMS works as well. You can punch in each key that you need to. And like with the Cessna here, I can, I can teleport over to the other side. And I can be first officer on this side, or I can teleport back here, right in front of the door, open the door, and I can go and sit back here as a passenger if I'd like to. So that's it, just a quick run through of some of the features that we, uh, that we have coming in future updates of X-Plane 11. Uh, VR is a really big topic, so we may do uh, a video devoted to each feature where we can spend some more time discussing it. but. I wanted to keep this video as, as short and, uh, and quick as possible for the, um, the presentation at Hartford.